Hi, welcome to the channel. Please remember to subscribe and comment below what you would like to see under the microscope. Now, have you ever been outside and you've seen these little red bugs running around? These are mites. And today we're going to gather up a few of these things because they're everywhere. And we're going to take a look at what they look like. We are now under the microscope, and this is a side view of one of our mites that we have captured. Now, I have not sped this up, so the actual speed you're seeing this animal move at is the speed it moves in real life. Now, a little bit about mites. Mites are arachnids, and so they are related or similar to the spider family. And we can see that here, looking at these palps similar to what spiders have in front of their face. Oh, there he goes. He's come back. Now there are millions of different types of mites and this one in particular, I believe is a clover mite. And so what this one feeds on is plant material and as the name implies clover, but there are other mites that are pest. I mean, most mites are considered pests in large numbers because they can get to where they're crawling all over everything and causing irritation on your skin. But there are some mites that feed on animals. So an example is you have a chicken mite. A chicken mite will feed on a chicken, sucking the blood from it. And if the population is too large for these mites, they can actually drain a chicken of its blood and end up killing it. And then you also have varroa mites, which are mites that infest honeybees or their hives. And these things get into the honeycomb inside the, the comb with a baby bee or a larva. And they will latch onto that larva and feed off of it until adulthood. And eventually it will drain that bee and kill it. Now where I'm pointing to right now, I am wondering if that is the start of the head the mite they have these huge back ends and then tiny little heads and we also can see him kind of grabbing his leg and cleaning it off with his spider-like man or palps and then under those palps you see that that mouthpiece for biting and chewing or tearing pieces off of plants this guy sure likes to clean himself So there are many different types of mites and they all do different things. Most are considered pests, like I mentioned in large numbers, but most are actually harmless to humans. Now I want to get a top view of this little fella. And so let's do that. And that will end up concluding the video. But before we do that, please remember to subscribe and support the channel by doing so and comment below what you would like to see under the microscope. Let's go take a look at that top view. We are now looking at the top view of the mite. Now this fella, I accidentally unalived in the process of capturing him. And so that's why he is not moving. But he probably was honestly eating my flowers that I had recently planted. I noticed all the leaves were gone and that was probably either snails or mites. But either way, rest in peace to him. Okay, so we have these two black dots these I do not believe are eyes. I think what these are are light receptors on the mites. Now not all mites have eyes and so they will sometimes rely on these spots that pick up light and indicate to the insect where, or I should say the arachnid, if it's exposed to light. And so it will know if it's out in the sun or if it's underground or it just helps it know where it's at. Now, I am not sure if that's what those are, so don't quote me on it, but I know that mites do have light receptors and sometimes they're on the bottom of the mite and sometimes they can be on the top. So I don't know if this is what these are. So don't quote me on that. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. 
Again, please subscribe and support the channel and let me know what you would like to see under the microscope and I will do my best to show it to you. All right, thanks for watching.